Your Monday markets are held every Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, so we came on Saturday and we're back here again today. I'm surprised how vibrant it is for midweek. It's another glorious day here in Coolum and I am coming to pick Jess up from the gym which is Do a few of those for me, Jess. I need some tummy tightening. Okay. <laughs> I've not been doing much vlogging for the past few days because I've just been absolutely flat out with um, a priority, urgent task on my LPI project. Um, I just haven't even been able to stop to vlog. Basically, I've been needing to set up a series of working groups um, reaching out, finding people around the globe in conjunction with Donald Taylor, the chairman of the LPI. So finding these people who have uh, expertise to update skill descriptions. So while that task isn't quite finished, I have broken the back of it um, and I needed to take a little break from it and do some other things, not the least of which is to get out and get some exercise uh, and spend a little bit of time with Jess, which I did this morning. So what I'm going to work on next, I've actually got a new client, which is uh, fantastic news. Um, they are a training team for software for two hospitals. And I use the word training very deliberately because that's their title at the moment and that's their predominant way of supporting learning in their organisation. But the good news is that they want to move to a more sustainable model of learning, something more effective, more fluid basically getting people into classrooms and training them on new functionality and software in a classroom a is just too resource intensive for the trainers and the people who need to learn something and b isn't the most effective so we're going to start with a one day workshop next friday the 13th of july and we've mapped out um, a high level approach and now what i need to do is put together a more detailed agenda for the day so I'm finished a uh, first cut on design of that workshop and it's made me reflect on how much my approach and thinking has come along um, since the work that I did for Qantas last year in terms of operating model design. Now admittedly there are a lot more stakeholders involved in the Qantas work and someone else was leading the project um, with kind of an organisational design background so they really set the agenda but it was very slow and it was very clear. So I'm working with a smaller team, a less complex stakeholder environment, um, and they are ready to change. And I think they can make a lot of decisions themselves. Um, but on top of that, I've used some design thinking in human sense. So what this design thinking approach is enabling me to do is to focus more on future state rather than current state and use personas and empathy building to get a feel for how to make a shift. So one of the things I'm going to do is get the team to develop a persona for themselves in relation to how they currently develop skills and people, which is predominantly through training. So apart from creating clarity for them on why a change is necessary, it will also help when we come to look at who their customer is. In other words, the workers, the people that they support and whose performance their role it is to improve. So some of this thinking, of course, and these techniques are from the From Order Taker to Performance Partner Workshops, which I ran in the first half of the year with Arun Pradhan. And some of the insights I want to share are also related to the current work I'm doing with the Learning and Performance Institute, looking at shifts impacting learning and development and future capability. So it's really nice to see how my own learning has improved and my own approach has improved through my work. So I've got to say, after doing that design of the workshop, I'm quite excited about this piece of work um, and the potential it's got to make a difference pretty quickly for this client. Uh, so I'm glad that I've got this work, even though it means a trip to Sydney. Jess and I are out for an evening walk in the neighbourhood that we're staying in. You can see it's um, fairly modern, places are nicely designed, the area's kept very neat. And I wanted to show you these tree roots, look how beautiful they are. 